Just so you get an idea of what I'm talking about when I'm talking about PTEX versus air weld material. So PTEX is designed only for superficial scratches just in the layer of the base itself. And the air weld material is designed for a core shot all the way through the base material, exposing the inner part of the ski. So there is an actual difference between PTEX and the air weld material. So I'm Brandon Sims here at the Start House, Truckee, California. Today we're gonna to talk about PTEXing and air welding the difference between the two and when you need to do one versus the other. So this ski that we have in the shop today, this particular one has actually both um, requirements on it. So there's some shallow surface scratches you can see uh, just here on the ski. And then there's also a core shot that's actually penetrated all the way through the base material and exposing part of the core material below. So we're gonna clean all this up. We're gonna do some PTEX and some air weld combinations on this ski and we'll show you guys how it's done. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come through and cut out any loose material. So I'm gonna cut all the way around and make sure there's no loose debris. I'll do a check on the core shot to make sure I've got all the loose material out of there. So as you can see next to it, there's some additional deep scratches. So I'll use the corner of the tool here to kind of shape out the scratch and remove any of loose overhanging material. So now that the loose parts cleaned out and cut out, I'm gonna take some 80 grit sandpaper. I just take a tiny little piece, I'll fold it over, and I wanna rough up the whole wound on the sides, the core itself, and I'm gonna go on top and do a little bit of the base too. And what this is gonna do is create some small hairs to allow the PTEX or the air weld material to help bond a little bit better to the ski itself. So I'll use an air compressor to clean it out. If you don't have an air compressor, you can use a paintbrush, dust it lightly. So the first weld is my anchor weld down the middle. Then I'll run 45 degree angles and I'm Doing this so that the air weld material will attach to the base and the first rod that I already ran across. I'll pinch it off, flip over my rod to the cool side, and I'll rotate now to the other side of the wound, back and forth, until I've covered the entire damaged area. We'll pinch it off, same thing, flip it over, rotate. Take some more rod, almost done. We'll finish up this last pass here. That should be sufficient to cover everything. I'll do a light press just to make sure that everything is pushed clean. But there shouldn't be any air bubbles under there because of the way the tool melting the rod and not liquefying the whole entire plastic. So we'll let this cool down and then when it's ready to go, we'll scrape it off. Okay, so as this cools, we're gonna work on the superficial scratches that just require PTEX and don't require air welding. So we'll get it as flat as we can, and then I'll use the corner of this tool again to clean up the sides of the scratch. That way I can have guarantee that the PTEX material is gonna to wanna to hold and I'm not attaching it to any loose material that's still on the ski. Do the same for the next section, and we'll go all the way through the ski. Double checking that we have all the loose debris. That way when we're ready to run the PTEX gun, we can do all of them at the same time and make it as efficient as possible.
clean up any of the dust. That way I don't have any loose material underneath the P-Tex. And the way that we P-Tex in this shop is we use an extruder gun. This is an extruder gun, has an on-off switch and an auto feed system. So as I turn it on, this thing will automatically feed the P-Tex through this machine. And it'll keep going until I'm ready and I'm finished with whatever task I have. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clean out the gun real quick, clean out the tip, make sure everything's really clean and smooth. So I'm gonna buff it out on some scotch sprite here until the face is really clean like that. Once it runs clear, then we'll start our P-Tex. That just really helps make sure that the P-Tex gets pushed down and make sure that any air that might be underneath of there gets pushed out. So P-Tex is maybe a half a millimeter to a millimeter thick with a couple layers laid down where you'll see here that the air weld is already three, maybe four millimeters thick. So to break that down, I'm gonna take a sure form like this. We'll break down the repair till it's really close to being flat like this. And then to finish it off, I'm gonna take a steel scraper like this one and I'll sharpen it on a file because I want the scraper to be really, really sharp. So if you're at home and you don't have a belt sander or the expensive tooling like we have in the shop here, there's a quick and easy way that you can do a finish for, um, for a little air weld or a P-Tex repair at home. So what I like to do is I'll take a small piece of 220 sandpaper. You can either wrap it around like a square dowel, something like this, so you get a nice flat surface if you need, or you can just use your hand and your thumb if you're just doing a really small area like this one here, per se. So what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of water, I'll squirt some water on the ski, and water on my paper, and I'm just gonna so gently wet sand where I'm keeping it wet the whole time. I don't want to uh, sand it dry. I want to sand it wet. That way it has a lot smoother finish and doesn't leave the ski furry on the bottom. And then I'll take a little scotch bright. I can buff that out to blend in the sandpaper. And then to finish, if I need, I can rub a little bit of wax onto the area and then I'll use the scotch Brite to buff the wax in. When I scrape, I like to angle my scraper back and forth. That way I'm not running over the same ridges every time and it really does a good job of cross cutting. So you'll see my hands rotating back and forth and that's me just changing the angle of the blade as I'm pushing it across the P-Tex. And the scotch Brite and really clean up any of the lines from the metal scraper. In this shop today though, we're gonna do a quick belt sand and run this just over our light belt just to blend the entire ski through since we did some P-Tex kind of tip to tail on this entire ski. binding to travel through the feed wheel. So set this on the ski. Position it how we want it. So this is just a really light fine belt. Just for finish passes.
So this particular repair, we're just doing some P-Tex and a quick buff of the base material. If the customer really wanted to, they could go through and do a full stone grind and structure and finish this to make it absolutely perfect. But today we're just doing a quick P-Tex repair and what I call a polisher, uh, a light belt, just to make sure the ski's smooth, the repair's clean, and then you can get right back out on the hill and go ski again. If you ever built one ski, you always want to belt the other ski. And this one's all set.